We often get phone calls from people who are in very severe acute back pain. You may have experienced it yourself and what we're going to provide today is some education around what are the survival tips you need to get through an episode of severe acute back pain. These tips are important to ensure that you get through that period until you can get in touch with your physio and start to get some treatment to overcome and recover from this episode. The most important survival tip at the beginning is to gauge how much pain you're in. What is the severity of the pain? And is that an indication of a red flag? Do you need to call in a doctor or call an ambulance? And those circumstances are if you have um, leg numbness or unremitting leg pain that's not subsiding, if the back pain continues in spite of medication, if it continues to be intense, if you have trouble uh, walking, weight bearing, if there's any frequent spasms, or if you have trouble going to the toilet. In those conditions, you must call for assistance. When you find yourself in this terrible situation, it's important that you're not alone. So please call for help from anyone in the house, or if need be, call a friend to come and spend time with you because you may need their support. They may help you by driving you in or getting you some medication. So please phone a friend to help you. The next key survival tip is to unload. Unload means you've got to take some pressure off those structures that are irritated. So you often will find if you've got acute back pain, you'll have spasms, you'll have catching, you might have some locking, or when you try and walk, you'll get that collapsing feeling. So it's important to make your way to a bed, to, to spend some time getting off your feet. Don't sit in a chair, don't try and get down to the ground, get onto a bed and just spend some time just getting off your feet. I'll show you now how to actually safely get into bed when you have got acute pain. So make your way around to the bed. Sit yourself down on the edge. Now this may be a little bit difficult. So as best you can, try not to twist or move too quickly or abruptly. What you need to do, get that arm down and your elbow. Try not to bend forward or twist. Get the legs up and then gently roll as a log. And if you need to, a friend can also put a pillow under your knees to support you. And that's also a good way to sleep. I wouldn't spend more than an hour or so in bed because again, you'll start to stiffen up if you stay in bed for too long. So you must try and keep moving in between your rest periods. When you need to get out of bed, you do the opposite. You bend up your knees, you gently dig in with your elbows and roll again as one unit, so you're not twisting. Bring your feet to the edge of the bed and then use your arms and elbows to come up to sitting. And from there, you can just gradually lean forward and stand up again. So you need to maintain minimal stress on your back when you're getting in and out of bed but getting off your feet is very important. In the early stages of an acute episode of back pain, pain medication is very important, or pain management. Now that could be your friend going and getting some anti-inflammatories for you, or analgesics, which if you've got some in the house, take them as prescribed. The other thing that can help is a, uh, a heat pack, or a hot water bottle to help reduce some of the muscle spasm and tension in the back, which is stiffening up your movement and causing more pain. So take your pain medication as prescribed and it should be helpful. It should make sure that that pain settles down a bit over time. If you followed all these tips, there should be a gradual reduction in your pain. And you can assess that. You can feel, well, what's it like now to walk, to get out of bed, to move? And as you get more confident, then you should actually call your physio and talk to them about the next step, which should involve coming into the rooms, 
uh, and starting a course of treatment. So once you can wait there, you can transfer in and out of your car and you're moving a little bit more freely, that's a time to make an appointment and catch up with your physio to actually start on the treatment process to get you back moving and pain-free again.